So as this confident young fighter makes his walk to the octagon, you can be sure his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent to the mat? Because once I get him down, I know I can keep him there, potentially for the duration of the round, if not the fight. This guy's top game is scary good, and it's not just about getting you down, it's about using his weight to keep you there. Great hips as well. This guy is a world-class submission artist, and he will have a massive advantage if this turns into a grappling exchange. Look for him to attack with all forms of submissions. So as this young fighter makes the walk here tonight, you know his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent down? Because once I get him to the mat, I know I can keep him there. Joe, this guy has a top game as scary as anybody in the game. And when you can control a fighter like that in a fight, it's a great source of confidence. He'll use the body weight to keep you down and prevent any sort of hip escapes because his hips are so strong. Physical freak who will sap your willpower and your gas tank with the best of them. One thing to look out for from him is his low kicks. He throws them with devastating power. And if you can't defend against them, he will kick the legs right out from under you. It does bead and punching power. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with similar height and reach. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He's down five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 188 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, Grandmaster. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 256 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, the King! Now when the answer begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. Uh, you ready? You ready? Let's well, go how it. good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that could affect you later on in this one night tournament. Oh! He got tagged there. And the fighters engage in the clinch here right out of the shoot. Got double underhooks. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. An oh, elbow! Oh, he's stunned him. He's got him right here. Kick lands forward there. Trying to get a single. First takedown attempt is there. Very nice sweep. Midway through round one. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. He might get in here. Look at this. And he's free. That was a deep arm bar. Tags him. Looks like he's trying to isolate that arm here. He's gonna extend the body. And he's got the arm. He may have to tap any second now. He got it, he got it. Nicely done. A beautiful job in setting up this arm bar. Excellent technique. Yeah, that is an outstanding submission win turned in by that fighter here tonight. And not just the finishing instincts, but just the transitions and how patient he was. He had not just isolated the arm, but secured it before he tried to torque it. Near perfection in terms of the execution of that arm. Here it is from a different angle. 
And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotti has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 57 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, well, the celebration is on in the corner after the big submission win here tonight. He told us during fight week that he needed to prioritize a finish here. Decisions were